Hello guys, how are you doing? Uh, what do you see here is a Tesla module, okay? Uh, these things are very, very, very hard to, you know, to get. You have to go to the end of the world to, to be able to get one of these. Uh, this is the holy grail of Tesla. Uh, without this, te there is no Tesla. They are the driving force for for the Tesla. This is one module. Yeah, I think mostly the car will have about 16 modules, something like that. So this is one of those modules. And this one is a, a smaller module with a 384 cells in it, okay? The bigger one has 444, but this one, 384. This was the only one I could you could find. And they're not cheap as well. They're very, very expensive. So, uh, you know, I was fortunate enough to, you know, manage to find somebody and we discussed, you know, I told him, you know, that I'm a nice person. You know, I uh, love everybody. Uh, I'm not a, a greedy person. Can he help me? And he said, oh, I know you have seen you a couple of times. I'm just going to give you this. And I said, oh, are you sure? And he said, yeah, 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 don't worry. Don't worry, my mate. Just give me this and I'll give you that. And I said, all right, okay. So that's how it is. Let me just say, remove the this cover. You remove the terminals are here, as you can see. And then the, this is the cover here. You know, when I was when I was looking at this the first time, you know, it's a very simple setup. You have the the BMS here that controls the you know the state of the charge to make sure that this cells because these are cells, uh, these little things they are, they are cells. It makes sure that they are all balanced. Okay this BMS here and then we have uh, they also installed this this is plumbing water goes in here to cool the cells because they get really really hot okay I'm going to tear this apart I'm going to totally you know destroy it and get the cells out but when I was looking at this I could actually see you know the the thoughts of Mr. Musk, the owner of Tesla. This is high quality stuff, very, very high quality. I wasn't expecting something to be, you know, to be this, this quality. He, he, he made a very good uh, module and, you know, with fuses, because these tiny little, this tiny little, uh, wires here fuses so if it gets you know overheated this wires will just break and then it's safe the, the the cells wouldn't explode or burn or anything so it's a very very good you know uh, setup he, he's a very intelligent guy that guy you know but it is simple though the setup is very simple everybody can do it it is the quality that i'm really impressed with you know now, this weighs about, uh, I think it's about 20 kilograms. Uh, but the thing is, that's the thing that I, I never get to understand. The whole thing will weigh 20 kilograms, and then the cells themselves will weigh 10 grams, you know, 10 kilograms. You know, I don't understand why the housing and the components should weigh exactly the same as the weight of the cells. It doesn't make any sense. Nissan Leaf, they do exactly the same thing. Mitsubishi Outlander PEV, exactly the same thing. And I will be making a video on that as well about the battery. So I just don't understand. So I'm going to remove all them cells and make my own, uh, you know, battery. Uh, to see if I can, you know, help my car to be a little bit more green than it is right now. Okay, uh, let me just get the the, the the multimeter and we check the voltage. Right, uh, just I just got the multimeter. Let's just see how much voltage is in here. Uh, twenty one point three, twenty one point three. So, fully charged will be about twenty four. So it's all right till 
be here if it's if it's sort of half charged like it is right now it, it's all right the cells they can stay for a long time like this you don't want to be fully charged and you just leave it there so it is it is excellent okay all right yeah like i said folks uh, i'm going to break this i'll film it while i'm breaking it but what i'm going to try to do is i'm going to try to preserve these little uh, these little fuses you know i'm going to try to make sure that uh, i i keep them so that i can use them uh, on my new battery because they're very important they're, they're delicate they they are not very strong they they bend easily you know they bend very easy you can see it, it moves they just move just like that they're, they're not very hard so i'm just gonna remove them from here remove from the, the top here pull it out so that it will stay on the cell i want to use them okay if it doesn't work, I'll get my own fuses and just, you know, make my own. It doesn't matter because these are like, they can handle about 5 amps or 6 amps, something like that. So I can get, you know, uh, some fuses elsewhere or maybe on eBay. All right. So that's the way it is, folks. These things, like I said, they're very, very hard to find. You know, a hustler like me had to go to the end of the world to be able to get one of these. It's not easy to find them. And they're not cheap. They're not cheap. You can see the quality. They're not really cheap. Okay? Uh, the plumbing, all these, I'll rip off. I don't need plumbing because my setup is a little setup. So I'm not going to be pulling too much energy from this. I've spoke with the guy and he's going to get me some more modules. I need to run around, pray and pray to get resources, like I said, because these things are very expensive. I need resources to be able to, to afford to get another one. So, but don't worry, I'll film everything. You'll enjoy the, you know, to watch and see what's going on, what I'm trying to do for my car. Okay, guys, take care. Bye-bye as usual.